Have you been told that every Monday you need to wake up and get motivated? Like if you wanna be successful, that you gotta be motivated coming out of the gate? My name's Joe Moffitt with Master Life by Design. I'm here to tell you why Monday motivation is a lie. Now, I love Eric Thomas, the hip hop preacher, right? He is the man and he's all about motivation. And there's a time and a place for motivation. However, most people, they fall under the illusion that think that they need motivation. I see it a different way. The way I see it is you don't need motivation, you need inspiration. Now, what's the difference between motivation and inspiration? The difference is motivation is some external force that comes in and it gets you really excited for a little bit of time and then all of a sudden you flatten out, you drop, that energy drops. Whereas inspiration comes from within. It's something that you think about. It's something that fuels you on the inside. It's a fuel that never goes empty. And so that might be, hey, you have someone sick in your family and you wanna be there for them. They need your money, they need your time, right? And you're like, I gotta get this business built, right? I gotta get these ads running. I gotta get my health in shape. Whatever that is for you, inspiration is that endless source of energy within and only you can cultivate that. And a YouTube video can be great motivation for the moment, but it's not long-term, it's not sustainable. See, I remember when I was you know, broke and $40,000 dead, single, in and out of relationships, I was always looking for the next source of motivation, right? That next YouTube video to pump me up so I could go take a little bit of action and then stop. And then after a while, I'll take a little bit more action and stop. And see, that race in the game of life, you're gonna take a long time to achieve your goals. But when we talk about inspiration, inspiration's different. Inspiration fuels your tank so that you can keep going and going and going. See, there's a lot of people when they're broke, they're motivated to become wealthier, right? Because, or should I say, they're inspired to become wealthier because they wanna take care of their family. They wanna make sure that their kids have everything that they did. They wanna spoil their wife or even their husband, right? Depending on who we're talking about here. Inspiration is what you're after, not motivation. The challenge for most people though is, and I've seen this after working with tens of thousands of people, is that they don't slow down enough to find out what inspires them. If you find out what inspires you, watch. You're not gonna have that start and stop. You're gonna be consistently moving forward towards those dreams, towards those goals, towards that vision, vision or mission that you're after. Next, the reason why motivation is a lie is because, well, it's like if you ever went to an event where you're all excited to go to this weekend event, you hear all these great speakers, you get all the, you get all excited, and all of a sudden you're like, I'm gonna go out and conquer the world come Monday. Like once the week starts, I'm getting after it. And, or maybe even, you watch a great movie, you go watch Marvel, or you go watch like Apollo Creed, or Rocky, uh, Rocky Balboa, right? And you watch these movies, and by the end, you think you could do anything, which is great. But that's all external, and that's actually giving you the illusion that you have fuel that's gonna sustain you. But what's gonna happen is that's gonna dry out, that's gonna bottom out. And it's like, I remember I would go to event after event after event, and I would get so excited, and Monday, I'd hit it hard. And then Tuesday, I'd hit it pretty hard. And then Wednesday, I'd just hit it hard. And then Thursday, I just hit it. And then Friday, I was done, right? My energy was dropping, it was emptying as time went on. And so the illusion that these external factors are gonna help you is actually what's gonna hold you back from being consistent so that you can get to where you wanna go. The other component is that most people, the reason why they think they need that Monday motivation is because they're just not happy or fulfilled in what they're doing. Now I know you might have this great business that you've built, you've created, and that's awesome. However, are you doing stuff that you don't enjoy? Because I find a lot of people, they're building businesses. I work with a lot of entrepreneurs, six, seven figure, eight figure entrepreneurs, and they had this vision, right? They had this inspiration in the beginning. But then what they did is they started building this company and all of a sudden they found themselves doing things that weren't fulfilling to them. And so every Monday they have to find something to claw onto to give them that energy to go after it. Or maybe you're one of those people, you have a nine to five and you just, I can't get to work. And even if you get to work, you're just like, I can't do my job to the level of excellence that I desire. 
And what I'll say is if you're unfulfilled, if you're unhappy with your situation, what you need to do is you need to learn to identify what does fulfill you. What would that be? If you're running a company, maybe it's like you like making videos like this, right? Or maybe you're one of those guys, they love numbers and you should play with those numbers instead of going out there and networking. Or if you have this nine to five where you're punching in things on a computer all the time, but you're really good at working with people, you need to change paths. You need to change direction because you need all that motivation because you're so unfulfilled. You're not doing what you love, what you enjoy, what comes natural for you. For years, I would do things that I didn't enjoy and then I realized that I love talking to people. I love helping people. I love being on camera. I love getting out there and supporting people, giving them knowledge on how to better you know, live life or upgrade their life or take life to the next level or ultimately, like I like to say, master life by design, right? And that's why I'm doing these videos. This isn't because I have to, it's because I love to. I enjoy it. It brings me energy. See, when I do these videos, I'm fulfilled. Most people out there, I watch them, they're so unfulfilled. And so it's like, I need that next hit. I need that next hit of motivation. Someone, something, let me go to an event. Let me grab a book. Let me watch a YouTube video. Which if you're watching Messer Life by Design YouTube videos, that's pretty cool. You might need to do that daily. I'm just playing. But seriously, they look for that next hit of motivation and it's not motivation that you're after, it's inspiration. So you might be sitting there saying, okay, Joe, I get it. It's inspiration. How do I make that shift? Well, it's pretty simple. What I would do first and foremost, I would invite you to sit down and look at, are you happy with what you're doing? Are you truly fulfilled? If not, you need to change course. You need to change the direction in which you're headed. And you might say, well, Joe, I got to pay the bills. Or you know what, Joe, if I shift, then my company might go under and I hear you. But what's better is that you live a life of being fulfilled and happy each day and then build something that you enjoy than working on something that you don't enjoy just to pay the bills. So the first thing is you got to get clear on what is it that actually fulfills you. Next, what I would do is I would look and say, okay, what is, what's so, what drives you so much to go do what you want to do? What's your vision that you're after, right? No one else, not your parents, not your wife, not your husband, not your kids, or what your employer said. What's the vision that you have for your life that you would love to do? And then write out, why are you inspired? What are all those reasons that really make you want to go after that? Because I find a lot of time I ask people, well, okay, why do you want that? And they're like, well, I just want to make more money. I want to be free. I want to give back. But that doesn't drive you, right? And that's what leads you to the YouTube videos for that Monday motivational hit, right? It's like a hit every time. You got to find out what drives you, right? For example, what drives me is conquering success, making progress, and being an example for my boys and honestly impressing the hell out of my wife. Right, like that drives me. When I'm at the gym at 4.25 in the morning while everyone else is sleeping and comfy, I'm sitting there like, what if my boys were watching me right now? You know, what would they say? If something was to happen to me right now, would my, my, would my boys say, man, my daddy was an inspiration. That drives me, that's my inspiration. I can go watch a Tony Robbins video, I could go watch an Eric Thomas video, I could go watch you know, a Gary Vee video and get motivated, and I will, I'll get a lot done in a short period of time, but then it's like this drop off, it's kind of like a sugar rush, you get all excited and then after a while you just drop, right? And that's not what we're after, we want consistency because the ones who are most consistent are the ones that's gonna win. And that's exactly why I'm making three YouTube videos a week just for you in the different areas called relationship, personal finances and business, and also personal development. So if you like these videos, please hit that subscribe button, give it a thumbs up, share the video if you find it valuable. But I'm here to tell you Monday motivation is a lie. You need to go get clear on what inspires you What's your vision? Is that What are you gonna do on that way to get that vision that fulfills you? Because you can have this big vision of building a company, which is awesome, but if you're gonna do the things that you don't enjoy, first the things that you do enjoy and learn to leverage the things that you don't enjoy to someone who's even better at the things that you don't like than you are, then all of a sudden, you're gonna find yourself fulfilled, you're gonna find yourself taking action and being consistent, moving towards your goals. So with that, again, if you guys find this valuable, hit the subscribe, like button, tune in each and every week where we have three videos coming at you live. My name is Joe Moffitt with Master Life by Design. Thanks for joining. See you on the next video.